next, let's all welcome Aaron and Phil off. Always be changing. Aaron and Phil, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. <laughs> It's great to be here today. Thanks. Thank you. I, I, I said this off cam and I'll say it again. I know mm. you are a very busy person. You guys are traveling a lot. Obviously, that's your main content. But, you know, first thing I messaged you guys and you just said yes. And now you're here with us in the show. Thank you. It's a blessing, my friend. Yeah, no, we're so grateful that you reached out to us and we have a lot of gratitude for all the support we've been getting lately. This is what wow. it's all about. We yeah. love this. Wow. Before I start, I just want to, because I'm a fan, guys, for all the listeners and viewers, I really, I, I watch their videos daily. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm always on social media, but, you know, I, I, I just, I'm amazed with the authenticity. How was the... You you released a a, a a a video in Cebu, right? You guys were in Cebu, Philippines. So for every for everyone out there that haven't watched the new video, please go in YouTube and check them out. But I just want to say, how was the uh, lechon baka? <laughs> And let's go on. Yeah, the state yeah. in particular. Oh, the baka. Uh, it was much drier compared to the pork, I would say. The mm. sauce really made it. We were like, okay, this is good. I mm. think it was mostly because of the sauce, but the pork was spot on. The pork uh, was yeah, good. yeah. The, uh, I, that's that's uh, one of the Spanish influence in the Philippines, you know, the lechon baboy. The lechon itself, how you cook the pork. So yeah. have you tried balut? You know, fertilized duck egg. Yes, we yeah. had our that episode went live last night, so it's only been maybe 14 hours that yeah. it's been live. How was And it? How was one, it? How was it? You know, in terms of flavor, it's really hard to put your finger on it because it, for me, it was totally different from so many other things. And they encourage you to put a lot of vinegar and salt on there. Yes. So some yes. of the flavors are masked, but I mean, it wasn't bad. Would I say I would crave it now? I, no, but it was it was fine. <laughs> It's certainly a bit of a psychological yeah. thing for Westerners, I think. But even our kids ate it. And yeah. you can see that on the episode, yes. too. Yes, yeah. Cool. Just went bite after bite after bite. Yeah. You really went for it. And Brooklyn, we were so proud of her because she is the pickiest eater in the family. Probably the pickiest eater we know. And she really surprised us because all on her own, she's like, yep, I'm going to try this. Wow. Love that. Also, again, because I'm a fan... One of the best, um, one of my favorite videos that you guys released was the, um, I, I forgot the title, but you guys were in a trip in Miami, um, and then uh -huh. uh, you you tried this uh, black taco, uh, yeah? yeah, right, right, it, yeah, it was awesome. And, and my family's uh, now doing a vacation in the U.S., so I send them the clip and I said, guys, you need to try this. So they're a fan already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, What was that one? Yes, yes, uh, that, that yeah, one. Yeah, very thick, floury tortillas. Mm. Yes, yeah, the, the tortillas. Yeah, that place so is so good. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> enough of me being a fan boy because you know it's <laughs> obvious that I love you guys. Your family is just amazing. Um, for all the listeners and viewers out there, guys, give us a backstory. Who or what influenced you to be in this position of greatness? Because you guys are really creating something you know a video content that really makes an impact and change people's lives it may be entertaining at first but it inspires it motivates it shows the beauty of the places that you guys are being uh are you you're traveling to so what happened uh share us your story the floor is yours guys hey you know For, for many years now we have really enjoyed going for morning walks and we would always want to talk about where else we could go. Mm -hmm. Our headquarters are in Denver. Mm -hmm. Denver's a great city. A lot of people love living in Denver. We're not really those people. We don't have as much appreciation for Denver as a lot of people do. So we decided, you know what, we want to spend more time in someplace warm and, and tropical. And we fell in love with Coronado, California, decided at some point when we retire, we're going to buy a home there and that's where we're going to live. Well, probably true to our name, always be changing. <laughs> We couldn't stick to that plan for very long. And we said, let's try to do it now. Let's try yeah. to find a way to afford to buy a place out there now. And I think within 12 months, we owned a place in Coronado. And mm -hmm. we were spending most of our time from that point forward in Coronado. We, we did the lockdown for Quarantine COVID mm -hmm. in Coronado, which was great compared to being you know, in Denver. And uh, that, that was really the start of 
this, this passion for kind of getting away from Denver and having yeah. so much gratitude and passion around going to different places, being in different mm -hmm. places and, and just, you know, exploring that for us, it never felt like vacations. It was just a way of life. And that yeah. was kind of the start, I think. When you... I would say that. And it was also the start of us realizing where there's a will, there's a way that if we have a goal, we can do it. And, and it's um, instead of one day, make it day one. Day one. Yeah. Yes. So today's day one. We're going to do it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We, we believe in the law of attraction and not the mm. part where you like, just say you want something and then you get it. Like, no, you got to work your butt off where you have to yeah. have a yeah. plan, mm -hmm. Yeah. but that's what we do. How about uh, the kids guys? How about the kids? I mean, the both of you, obviously you're, you're in the game, you're in the zone. How about the yeah. kids? Because you're always moving around traveling and guys, the places that you're going, it's not, you know, it's really from very far different parts of the world. Yeah. How are they coping up? I mean, the kids are amazing. They, I mean, we love traveling with the kids. And that was something we had to really think about and consider. You have this idea that kids will go to school, you'll retire, and then you'll travel. And we didn't want to do that. And we have found more value in traveling now with the kids than we can imagine having uh, when they're grown up or, mm -hmm. you know, we're too tired to walk for 10 miles a day. <laughs> stuff like that but and, and quick lay of the uh -huh. land we have three kids and if you watch our earlier episodes you would see all three of them in there and that was during the whole covid thing and we, we found a great travel membership program that we'll probably talk about even more in, in a little bit but that allowed us to like go and stay in private homes around the world so we yeah. were still like social distance other than of course like the airport kind of stuff and airports were dead at that time anyway so that wasn't a big deal but yeah. It, there was never a question of whether or not our kids were going to love that. It was either sit at home doing summer school or remote school or traveling the world. Right. So that was easy. But once all of the schools returned to in person, then that changed the dynamic. And our oldest, Reagan, has chosen for the past year and a half now almost for high school to really focus on in person. She, she wants to be at that school, be able to socialize. Uh, Brooklyn and Colt, however, mm -hmm. are still in their online program. Mm. So yeah. we have complete freedom with them to be able to travel wherever we want. And in terms of whether or not they like it. Yeah. Well, I was going to say that I group them, you know, with the same mindset that we have, that the more we travel, the more we're growing as people and we see in them tenfold and the, the bigger we realize the world is. So every time we go somewhere, the world feels bigger to us. And we feel Love like there's that. more places we have to visit. Like we have not even uh, scratched touched, the surface. Yeah, scratched the surface. Yeah. I love that. You know, you visit different places. You learn about the culture. You learn about, you know, uh, traditions. And, and that gives us this, um, you're building relationship. And, and that's something that us as a viewer, as a consumer of your content, we feel that. We feel that authenticity. We learn from the content that you guys share, not because it's you know entertaining, but it's more than that. So that's something that I really love in the content that you produce. And that's why I respect you guys so much beyond you know food, eating, fun, swimming. It's the culture. It's the respect. It's the love. It's the authenticity. So yeah. good job and 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 more more videos to that really showcase that. Um uh, another follow up question guys. Um yes you are a family and and you are really creating something that makes a difference in the world. Have you ever encountered naysayers or you know negativity around you or you know people around you that say why are you guys doing this? Is this something that you want to do in the long run? That's never going to work, you know, when you were starting out. So things like that. And if so, how did you cope up and how did you overcome it? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it, whether we're talking about online trolls or people we know personally mm -hmm. who are naysayers, yeah. honestly, it's, yes, there's some, but it, it is the minority. 99% of what we hear both online and offline is very supportive. Mm -hmm. If maybe people uh, to some extent are just humoring us behind our backs, we mm -hmm. don't know. But no, family, friends have been supportive, interested, yeah. I think. Some have said that they've been inspired and they've started to move into that kind of a lifestyle also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But. Yeah. And I would say that when there's negativity, it's it's almost always about them more than it's about us. Something that's going on with them, their relationship to what we're doing is different than what we're actually doing. So we don't take it personally if we ever do come across that. Maybe they just want to have a taste of the lechon. So 
Maybe they do. They're <laughs> more jealous and hungry. <laughs> Guys, we've been talking about creating creating content that makes an impact. I'm excited, and I know our listeners and viewers are excited to know how to make money. This is very uh-huh. important, guys. You mentioned it a while ago. People are inspired to do the same or you know, similar to what you guys are doing. So how to make money and travel the world yeah. as a content creator? Everybody's dream now. <laughs> the yeah. is yours, guys. You know, I think it can be a whole lot easier for other people, other channels. We've seen some grow a lot faster than ours. Ours technically has been up for more than two and a half, almost yeah. three years. Although not in a format where it's like, okay, we're trying to make money out of this. We're a, a semi-nomadic traveling family. It was just a hodgepodge like so many other channels. Yeah. But since we started taking it seriously and saying, all right, let's just start seeing every part of the world and showing that experience uh, as family travel, um, that I think we're at about two years right now. And you mentioned 41,000 subs- subscribers. Mm-hmm. Keep in mind, that was 5,000 a month ago. Yeah. You know, so slow growth for those first two years. And a lot of it just comes down to where you go. And Mm -hmm. eventually with a YouTube algorithm, like if you can um, get a certain number of episodes up there and Mm -hmm. kind of show that you're serious and that you're in it for the long haul, I think it really helps. And we hear that from a lot of other creators. But if you have a stronger niche than we have, I think it can help you to grow quicker. Yeah, Ours was just general. We're just traveling as a family. And like you said, everybody wants to do that. Why not? Right. Right. But um, in terms of being able to make money from it, it's been a lot of in-kind compensation over the first two years. We got monetized on YouTube probably in 2021 at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, But that was not even substantial until this past month. And now, I mean, it's, if things would continue even where they are right now with the YouTube ad revenue, it's a livable wage for us. So if we can mm-hmm. 10x it from here, then that's just a game changer. And now we can actually start contributing to savings more again. <laughs> yeah, and I'd say it's always about growing, always be changing, of course, but always working on your content. I mean, if you see our first video to where we are now, eons apart. And so I think if you're looking Love for that. Eons anything apart. to change, yeah. <laughs> If you're looking to anything to change from your your video to your next one, like just always find something to improve on every video. Yeah. And I think a lot of people want to know, like, what should I be focusing on? We've Mm. even asked this in other travel creator groups that we're in. Like, Mm -hmm. take a look at this episode. We don't understand why we're not growing. What's the deal? And the truth is, it's everything. Improve everything. Should you improve your editing? Yeah. Should you improve your comfort on camera? Yeah. Should you improve your story? Of course, more than anything, most likely. Yeah. And I think therein lies so much opportunity. If you can have a unique story, not just per episode, but for your channel in general, like what is it that would inspire people to keep following you instead of just watching you, your wife get drunk off mojitos in Miami one time? <laughs> <laughs> that, that made an impact. <laughs> no, but it's true, guys. I, I love what, what you guys shared. It's not just, you know, making, you know, a viral video or or creating views, getting subscribers. I think that's what make your content, your brand really successful for all the listeners and viewers out there. Not because that I am a fan and not because that I love them. I love their family and what they do. It's because, again, you can see the authenticity that they're not just doing it for the money. You know, we're not hypocrites that we need money to continuously grow, right? But the intent, I always say this, intent comes before content. The intent is different. It's not a business. It's them having fun. It's them discovering the culture, discovering what they are doing in that place, exploring and really having fun. So you can feel that in the video. And then, you know, of course, because of that authenticity, you you that's where the the, the hits in, in the algorithm, you know, everybody loves it. Of course, it's easier said than done. But, you know, as a fan, <laughs> that's what I see. Yeah, yeah. so much yeah. truth to that. And Actually, at the beginning of this, you mentioned the luxury component of our channel, which has always been a strong component for us and a bit of a differentiator. Yeah. But we've started removing that here and there from our messaging as we find that when we travel to places like the Philippines where we were just spending a couple of weeks, it's 
not so much the luxury side of these experiences that that means anything to us. It's when we get into those authentic into local things. And yeah. last night's Cebu City food tour, like finding our taxi driver who said, you're having trouble finding the right street foods. I'm your guide for tonight. I'm going to take you to where the locals are. And seriously, we didn't see another Westerner that entire night. Yeah. <laughs> and that was really cool. Or when we were on our way to the, the Chocolate Hills in Bahal, and we saw them doing rice harvesting off the side of the road. And I said, I want to see how that works. And then we just pulled over and they were teaching us how to harvest rice. Yeah. Those are 10 times more special in my mind, mm -hmm. I think for the whole family. Yeah, so than, meaningful. Than going to a fancy restaurant or staying at a fancy Love that. resort. So Love I that. think you know, yeah. a lot more of that, you know, built into our experiences. Wow. I love that. I love that. Guys, um, Another another request, and I know you know I know our listeners and viewers out there are excited to start something because of what they're hearing um, from you guys. Mm -hmm. A simple tip from you, and I did not give you this beforehand, but you know I just feel that there's a lot that can really start something with you guys guiding us. Simple tip for everyone that wants to start. Um, creating content online similar to what you guys are doing. Effective, simple tips from experts like you guys. Okay. Do you want to do one? I, well, I what comes to mind is what I said before. Instead of one day, make it day one. There is something you can do right this minute to get to your goal. So start right now. And I've said this to, again, one of our travel creator groups where we trade ideas and experiences and people were struggling to grow. We've been struggling to grow for so long. And I said, here's something that I figured out by going to the Philippines, where you go matters mm -hmm. and where you go next matters. Now, our US based content, those episodes like over this, the summer of this year, were abysmal in terms of performance. We had a great time, mm -hmm. but they didn't get any kind of reach on YouTube. You could absolutely be very successful doing a travel channel around the US as one example, if that's your niche and you find a way to, to really connect with that particular audience. Mm -hmm. But for us, the game changer was saying, we see that Philippines performs well. Why? Because number one, it's beautiful. People like to see it. Number two, the people there are incredible and supportive. And a lot of our views yeah. come from the Philippines. So if you're if you're struggling, just know there are little hacks like that. Mm -hmm. Go to the right places mm -hmm. and it can change overnight. Our, our ad revenue, back to that point, in one month, jumped 20 times, 20x yeah. revenue. So, yeah. you know, I mean, who knows what it'll be like <laughs> Buy us on the chun, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love that. And Love that. Yes, yes. your audience, too. Like, figure out where do they want to see you go? Yes. And if that aligns with your passion. Uh, you, are you guys doing that? Like, uh, are you asking yeah. your, your audience, where do you want us to go next? And are they giving you suggestions? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And we are really taking their suggestions. We got like so many suggestions on where to go in the Philippines. We're coming back in January because we felt like we have not satisfied everybody. <laughs> we need to come back and we're going to go to Shargao. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. Shargao. Yeah. Uh, Shargao, we're going to uh, Donsol for the whale sharks. We compared that to Oslob and Donsol, I think is a little bit more our style being um, a little more environmentally conscious in that area. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. And again, Manila, we got to hit BGC. Wow. Love that. Love that guys. I've learned a lot. I'm sure our viewers and listeners are excited. They're pumped knowledge bomb after knowledge bomb tips. You guys shared your story. It's amazing. You know, I, I can't contain myself. I love you guys. And whoo, it's just an amazing experience, but we are not done yet, guys. We are not Here we done go. Here we right. go. No, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> we are now in the part where we play a game. It's a tra tradition here in the show. We call it the creative fast talk, okay? How we play the game is I'll be asking you questions and you are not allowed to spend much time thinking what the right answer would be. First yeah. word that comes into your mind, boom, shoot. Are you ready? Ready. Yes. Don't worry. It's a good, clean fun, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right, first question, very easy. Sun or snow? Sun. sun. <laughs> you need, oh, I'm excited to get answers that are different. So let's see. Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, I yeah. think this question, it will, you know, divide the both of you. 
Next oh. question. Structured yeah. or chaotic? Structured. Structured, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, all right. Next. Okay. Guys, I think you have a, a pick for each. If you were an animal, what animal would you be and why? Lion, because they are protective mothers. Ooh, okay. How about you, Ro? I would go with bald eagle because flight is very important to me and yeah. might as well be eagle. Oh, yeah. Power eagle. animals, guys. Eagle <laughs> and lion. Mm. All right, next. Popcorn and movies or dinner and dancing? Popcorn Ooh. and movies. Yeah, same. I, I, I love dancing, but yeah, popcorn and movies. And I don't dance, so I take the dinner half of that, but I can't take the package deal. Right, right. I want to spend time with him, so <laughs> popcorn and All movies. Right. Since you answered um, popcorn and, and movies, there's a follow-up question. Name your top three movies of all time. So hard. I can name his. I can't name mine. <laughs> go, yeah. go, go, go. All right, you are. Do I say yours or mine? Either way, we can. <laughs> um, a few good men. A few good men. Ooh, Gladiator. Gladiator. Uh, and then what's the other one? I don't know, but what are, what would some of yours be? Uh, I mean, I like the classics. I like Gone with the Wind. Wow. Uh, there's so many classics I love. Wow. Uh, yeah. I, I, I that's love three already. I mean, I, I yeah. love those movies. Like, mm, I'm I'm really in love with you guys. So, <laughs> next. <laughs> Um, mountains or the beaches? Beach. Beaches. Beach. Mm, yes, yes. It it's a giveaway. What yes. are you guys afraid of? Oh God, everything. My kids getting hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah nightmares daily of Colt getting eaten by a monitor. <laughs> Yeah, I I think I'm most afraid of our son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, getting hurt because uh, he's so adventurous when it comes to animals and fearless. Fearless, right? Right. In him gives me fear. All right. Oh, that's next. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. That's about it. I think in terms of fears, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Next is what is something that is always inside your bags when you were a kid. When we were a kid, I had a, one of the combs. My ice skate. <laughs> what? The combs were big when I was a kid. <laughs> and he, did it. he had crazy hair. Sometimes it was a pick because I had a burn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. Love that. Yeah. Love that. Love that. Next. Yeah. What yeah. is I? this one? This question, I think um, you guys can give me based on your you know travels. What was the weirdest, weirdest food you've tried so far? Like oh. the weirdest so far that is, yeah. let's say, on the top of the level. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this one's fresh in our head, of course, uh -huh. from yeah. City. I just want to make sure there's nothing else that we're forgetting. But honestly, as adventurous as we are, I think, yeah. I think that it would still be in Cebu City, uh, the balut. The balut. Uh, yeah. Fertilized yeah. Uh, duck egg. Yes, yeah. and ours was, uh, I think we did 18 days. So it was like two yeah. or three days from hatching mm. when we ate it. So feathers and everything in there. <laughs> I didn't actually try the balut. I had to film. Somebody had to hold the camera. Yeah, and, good, well, good excuse. Yeah, good excuse. Chicken blood. <laughs> yeah. Chicken blood right before that. I didn't find it that weird. I think when I think weird, I think um, too strange of a, I don't know. I loved the chicken blood. Chicken blood. Uh, like the cube thing in, in yeah. a skewer, yeah. right? Yep. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was chicken blood before when I was a kid. I was like, how can, you know, it, because it's like a barbecue. It was like, it, mm, yummy. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was liver. So, right. yeah. yeah. Like Betamax, by the way. That's totally. what that's called. Betamax. Yeah. 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 Betamax. Yeah. All right. Next question. What was your, no, you answered this already in a way, your dream superpower and why? What is your dream superpower and why? Yeah, I've always wanted, and you've told me it's not a superpower, but I'm taking it, uh, like a magic mirror that you can ask any question, it gives you the exact answer. Like, okay. I want to know, you know, who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, how far away are they actually from getting here? Or <laughs> So just to keep tabs. Just to keep tabs. I just yeah. want to know the truth. A, a truth telling. Okay. Yeah. That's scary. That's scary. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot hide from you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. No. Um, this last question. Oh, sorry. Um, this last question 
can be something serious depending on how you take it. All right? Okay. okay. If you have the power to bring back someone back from the dead, who mm-hmm. would it be and why? It doesn't need to be relative anyone in the whole wide world. If you can yeah. bring them back from the dead, who who would it be and why? It would be, you know, definitely somebody who died too soon because they would have had more left to do. And the person, oh, I'm going to cry. Person who comes. <laughs> yes. I don't want to answer I'm, for you because you're crying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, her childhood friend, Taj, who mm. is an F-18 pilot in the Marines mm. and died a few years ago, crashed his plane mm. uh, in England mm-hmm. somewhere. But, yeah, yeah. I bring him back because there was so much more for him to accomplish. Yeah. Well, I know I, 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 I know <laughs> he loves you guys so much. He loves you so much. And he is proud of what you guys are doing. So thank you. Thank you, Aaron and Phil, for sharing your story, giving us valuable tips, having fun with us in the part of the show. Thank you so much. Yeah, it is fun. an amazing experience. It's great to be yeah, here. Yeah, really Thanks. great. Thank you so much, Jan. <laughs> I love the show. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, I know you have a lot of promotions, social media accounts, events online, anything you want to promote, please feel free. The floor is yours. Awesome. Well, hopefully people will subscribe to our channel. Um, a, a new thing that we started after visiting the Philippines is our, our giving back uh, campaign. So this is brand new. We don't know how successful it's going to be, but it's a, it's a starting point for us. And we've just been so touched by some of these places that we have visited that we said, you know what, we're starting to get YouTube's super thanks money where people can just click on the give or the thanks button and automatically give like three bucks, 10 bucks, whatever. Mm-hmm. We said, we're just going to give all that back to the communities that those episodes cover. So yeah. right now we've set one up for San Miguel de Allende, Mexico, where we're heading again this weekend. Um, and then one for the Philippines, of course, and that's UNICEF, which is to help Filipino kids. And uh, that money is coming in. People are really reacting to it well. Is it a lot of dollars yet? No, but it's a lot of donations. And that kind of thing is just really inspiring and builds into other things. So we're very proud of that. That's on our website, by the way, followabc.com slash give. And you can see details and progress on what people are giving. But we're, we're really happy about that. Yeah, hoping that continues to grow with our channel. Wow, guys. Please feel free to visit, check, and connect with Aaron and Phil Lockwood. I'm sure they can help you in your journey towards success. Again, guys, super thank you. You guys are amazing. It's a blessing to have you in the show. Thanks a oh, lot. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Always remember, have a positive outlook in life. Smile. God bless. Bye. Bye.